perfect day. Hello, I'm Keith Gordon. I'm the studio manager at the Cedar Lane Art Center, which is run by the Austin Lane Parks and Recreation Department. We're in Cedar Lane Park, um, which is on Cedar Lane, um, at the edge of town. What we're doing today is demonstrating the Japanese technique of Raku pottery firing. It's a very dramatic and exciting um, way to fire pots. So what's going to happen is the potters have all these pieces down here, which have been made a few weeks ago, they've been fired in a bisque kiln up to about 1900 degrees. Now what's, what's a bisque kiln? It's, it's just the it's just kiln with, where we don't have any glaze on them. So they're just heated up so that now they will not, they're no longer clay that will um, dissolve in water. But they don't have a, you know any, anything on the surface. So what we're going to do is put a glaze on them, which actually no, no, no. is a bunch of powders mixed with water that, when they're heated, will form glass. And the, gla and the glaze will melt in these kilns over here. Now this, now this is a kiln. So this is a kiln. Yeah. It's another raku kiln. It's so called the a fiber kiln. So sit on top of that little shelf. Um, the hardware cloth is, is attached to something called kale wool which is a refractory material that um, can withstand 2,000 degrees. Um, over here is the burner. And it will be cooking with uh, propane. This is a, the same idea, only instead of lifting the whole kiln, we just lift the lid up and we reach in with tongs like these. That's okay, I don't think Sorry. To pull the hot pot out. When we pull the hot pot out, if it's glazed, it'll go into one of these cans with newspaper and other things that burn, like uh, pine needles, coconut, shredded paper, maybe even these, these fresh pine, pine needles, and sawdust is in that one. And it'll catch fire because the pot's still very hot. Then we'll put a lid on the can, and that'll starve it of oxygen. Fire wants oxygen, so what's it going to do? It's going to um, take the oxygen molecule out of the glaze. So, if you know your old high school chemistry, um, ferrous oxide, Fe2O3, will become ferric oxide, FeO, and that will change the color of the glaze. And the same yeah, goes for copper carbonate and cobalt oxide. So it will be interesting and exciting changes in colors that will come out when we pull them back out. We're also going to do some firing where there's no glaze at all. The pot will come out going hot again. We'll put it over here on this shelf. And as it cools, we're going to put things on it that will burn. Things like peacock feathers, other feathers. Um, horse hair strands, and when they, they hit the pot, they will catch fire and curl up and leave carbon markings on the pot. And then I will spray it with ferric chloride, which will turn brown or orange or gold or yellow, depending on how hot the pot is. The same, same chemical changes depending on the temperature. And then when those pots are cooled, we'll put them out here for the public to see. So that's the process. Starting um, very shortly to fire the first kiln. While that's firing, we'll be glazing more pots um, and loading the second kiln. When the first kiln is done, we'll start firing the second kiln while we're processing the pots in the reduction cans. And we'll be doing that one or the other until we run out of pots. And how long, how long does this whole process take? Well, it takes roughly an hour um, to fire, and then about 15 minutes in the reduction can, and then another 15 minutes to cool down enough that you can pick them up. There's a third technique we're going to use, where we're going to cover this pot with no glaze with something called slip, and this is a is just another clay, not the same clay that the this pot was gold, made of, um, mixed with the water. Is this um, we will cover it back and we'll put a little bit of glaze on it shell. Yes. Okay. and fire it. Now this, this slip okay. on the outside will attach okay. um, 
well to the original pot because the other pot's already been fired and this is still wet and so it has as it shrinks and dries it'll start cracking and leaving gaps between the slip and the pot when we take it out of the hot kiln put it in the reduction chamber with the smoke in the fire the carbon will go penetrate the clay under the slip where there are gaps, where the cracks are. Is there gold and so when it's done, well? we'll no. scrape off the, um, the slip the that when it's cooled down enough to handle um, using credit cards. And um, what you'll have is this random pattern of black and gray and white, um, depending on how the things um, crack. And we can put masking tape and other techniques to make, you know, define where we want black lines and you know, black areas. But just don't put slip on it, it'll turn black. So that's, those are the three different techniques we're going to demonstrate today. Hope folks will come on down soon and we'll go from there. Okay. What time was it start? Well, it's starting as soon as I get a match. <laughs> okay. You're not worried about the wind out here, are you? Well, no wind would be better, but we'll, we'll deal with it. Okay. This is Maggie Chow. Hi. Maggie Hi. is a potter from Hartsdale and okay. um, has been potting for how many years? Eight. Eight years. Okay, and, okay. And, she, and her studio is at the Clay Art Center in Fort Chester. Okay. This is Faye Chazen. Hi. Seidelman. She's an Ossining potter. And how long have you been making pots? Oh, for about 40 years. <laughs> yeah. So an experienced veteran. And this is her kiln that we're doing over here, the one that we lift up and down. Oh, okay. Okay. Behind you is Bill Mailman. Hello. Hi. From Croton. Oh, yeah. And he's been potting for quite a while. For a bit, yeah. That's 15, 15 years or so. Okay. And, um, Just learning. <laughs> okay. Next to Phil is Cindy DeNovi. Hello. Who is a student in my class, adult class at the um, Cedar Lane Arts Center. Having a great time. And it's very therapeutic. Very and making great stuff. And then, definitely not least, is, <laughs> is Kathy Carabee Faella, who is the other teacher of the Arts Center. And adult painting, too, you said. Adult painting also. Yeah. Adult painting now. And starting Monday, September 11th, the fall schedule begins. I have classes for adults on Monday night for beginners starting Tuesday, September 12th, um, for more experienced potters. And then on September, that's Tuesday night also. And then on September 21, I start a morning class um, from 9.30 to noon for adults. And then Kathy's children's classes and, and other adult classes start in October. Be an, yep, the, the children's classes and the adult uh, daytime painting class will begin in October. So you can check the Austin Parks and Rec website and get all the information on all the classes. You can register online or stop by the community center and register. So come on down. We'll make a believer out of you. We have some new classes this oh, fall. Okay. The Art Center opened in May so and we had more. just yeah, okay. Kathy's children's it's classes for, for general art and for clay and my adult classes. And starting later on this year, we're going to have a portfolio preparation class for high school sophomores, juniors, and seniors who want to put together uh, a body of work that they can use to apply to art school and college. And that's um, going to start um, September 27th. Then we're going to have um, a sushi workshop uh, in October uh, led by Yoshimi Arai, who's a Japanese artist in Croton. And that's a two-hour, one-day class. I've taken her class before. It's wonderful. People will learn to make their own sushi um, and they'll get to eat what they make along with some miso soup. And then she's also teaching a children's and an adult origami class this fall, which is going to be an ongoing several sessions. So we're branching out into new areas with new teachers, not all of whom are here today. Um, and we hope the public will come and find out. Our classes are all sponsored by the Recreation and Parks Department, the joint village and town of Ossining. So if you want to register for a class or get more information, you go to the website for the uh, village of Ossining, go to Rex and Parks, and there's a link there. You can sign up for the class. And people that live in Ossining and don't live in Ossining are all welcome. Yeah.
tiny, then we know it's ready. Then we'll pull them out one at a time with tongs and put them in one of these cans with stuff that burns. Uh huh. Shredded paper, um, coconut fiber, pine needles, sawdust, all kinds of different things in newspaper to burn. We'll cover it. And so the, the um, oxygen deprivation will cause the flame to reduce the glaze, take the oxygen out of the glaze chemicals. And at the same time, the carbon from the smoke will adhere to all the, the bare clay. So if your foot will be black. The rim on glaze will be black. And then we'll take them out and we'll spritz them with water to cool them down. So, because let's say you have a beautiful red reduction copper glaze. If you just let it cool in the air, especially if it freeze, it's still hot enough that it'll reoxidize. So your red will turn blue oh, under I see. your eyes. Yeah. So you'll spray it with the hose so that it chills enough that it, can, it locks in the color that you got. And if you want to play with it, you can watch it and say, second process, and the glazes are all here, and there's a little Xerox of some samples of what mm -hmm. the might look like. No right. Goals. No it's guarantees. Tea, especially <laughs> with this wind so, and um, out, anything can happen. We have a second kiln here, so we'll go back and forth until we run out of time. What's the, what are these vines? Oh, it's called hair wool. Um, it's a refractory fiber. Um, Commercial grade kilns are, are just a box with nothing but five inches of kale wood. Um, this is a homemade kiln, so is that. Then the other thing we'll be doing, we will bring them here while they're still hot. Then we'll um, let them cool a little bit and we'll do things like drop strands of horse hair. Uh huh. That's really horse hair? That's really horse hair. <laughs> I went to the stable over near um, Rockefeller Park. Uh huh, sure. And they were very generous. <laughs> or it will drop feathers on it, uh -huh. or it will drop kosher salt, has to be kosher, uh -huh. um, <laughs> or sugar crystals, and they will smoke, um, they'll leave black spots and little trails of smoke. Oh, cool. um, and then if you want, you can spray um, ferric chloride, which oh, yeah. is the etching solution used in the um, electronics industry for circuit boards. And as the pot cools, depending on what temperature it is, the ferric chloride will go either from brown, or it'll go orange, or it'll go gold, or yellow. So you can sort of test it. If you don't like that color, wait a little while. It's been oh, interesting. Uh, and at a certain point, it gets too cool, nothing else. Yeah. But, um, so you can spray the whole pot, or you can do it. And if you use um, a white crackle glaze, you can spray that on it, too. And then put it in the reduction chamber. Wow. Oh, so that, that all happens before? Well, normally, well, all the other stuff doesn't, doesn't go in the reduction chamber. You know, mm -hmm. the horse hair and the right. sugar and all that. But ferric chloride, you can do both. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know it? Is it on? It's on. The name is we'll this side here. So we start slowly. Where's the flame? Over here. Uh oh. Factor, you look down here, you'll see some of the flame. Uh -oh. Time. 10.44. Oh, there it is. By noon, we should be unloading the first time. Wow. Okay. Um, and then we'll start. So it's warming up the pots right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Warming up the kill as well. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the shelf. We'll give it about five minutes like this. And we'll begin cranking up the gas. Wow. It's, it's, the pot's going to be in there for how long? About 45 minutes. 45 minutes. And then and after the, the 45 minutes? The first firing is probably an hour. First firing. And then it gets goes faster. Well, oh, there it is. Yeah, that's all right. So that's because we got too much wind. I'm Dana Levenberg. I'm the town supervisor in the town of Ossining. Okay. And uh, the Cedar Lane Art Center that's in the town of Ossining has started uh, ceramics. And today we're ha we have a special event down at the waterfront with Keith Gordon and Kathy 
Rafaela and some of the students and other potters in Asening and um, around who have come here to to participate in a raku firing, which is a very high heat uh, technique of firing and has interesting results because it's never really predictable like standard uh, kiln firing. So it's kind of exciting. We have a lot of artists here and they have all different types of work and they just lit the first kiln, or a raku kiln, and then there will be some other processes that follow after that. So looking forward to seeing what the results will be and learning a little bit more about raku. Oh, eight hot out. As soon as it comes out, you put the lid back on. Uh -huh. That's step one. That's okay. Now depending on on what the glaze is, if it's a um, get more crackling. Okay. Then I'll put it in one of these cans. We're gonna have somebody else assign to each can. We're gonna put some newspaper in, and depending on the potter whose pot we're using, not better. Depending on the potter whose pot we're using, they will put either sawdust or pine needles or shredded paper or coconut fiber. Potter's choice. We have plenty of containers so we can do whatever you want. The other problem that might happen is if this tank starts to lose too much propane, the combustion that takes the, from the, the from the liquid from, from the liquid to the gas, the yeah. gas comes out. The regulator the, it regulates the gas. Yeah. If we start losing propane, it's going to come down in temperature because there's nothing coming out to right. burn. Right. 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 So, That's not how long happen. do you think that tank lasts? Like, it's I don't know. My burner is 250,000 BTUs. I know. Okay, okay so we got this up. going. So, and what's the temperature there now? It's almost a thousand. Yeah, yeah, we're nine, going. We're at 950. All right. Okay. So you, you want to say a few words of what happened just now? Well, there was too much gas in the chamber, and when it combusted, when when Keith lit it, it it, it, it popped. It just exploded. Basically, that's what. So, so what, happened, what happened earlier was we were having trouble getting um, the, it started? Well, there was, there was a number of problems, <laughs> but one of the problems, I think you're going to be too close to pots. Yeah, right here. The, the basic problem is the okay, fact so that corner, this, is a, this is one size hose, that's another. One was going into the other. It was not burning right. efficiently. It was not coming out. Pretty sealed, so this a number of okay. different things. Which corner? Right well, it was that. It depends where you uh, lay this here. Yeah. Yeah. Just lay this here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Your bricks aren't level. Right. Right. You've got angled okay. bricks right. that are used to build the kiln. So oh, you okay. can't change that. Okay. You, this what you have. Where the box is here. Look. I don't know your name. What's your name? Maggie. Okay. Not my brick. Okay. No, I'm just. Just showing you something. Okay. I know. I okay, know. so you thinner here, thicker yeah, here. Know, These are arch bricks. These usually go around the top. Right. Okay, so what there I are. What I do is I put two together thin with the thin and the steel. Yeah. Should we yeah. come yeah. out for a little bit? Yeah. Well, we that's just. That's a lot of air going in there, don't you think? Where? Yours? This one. Yeah. Oh, ooh, that's a lot of gas well, you here. Can, you can we raise could. the burner. All right, but still. How much did you, how, how much this. did you always. I usually had a little space. Okay, this is too this is too scary here. This comes out, somebody's gonna get burned. So let's make this more stable. Put more so you need more under bricks there. under there, right? Yeah, these Yeah, yeah, too. I don't yeah, I would Okay, so that's that's the way you want it. Yeah, yeah. Is that supposed to be turned around though? No, you want to be able to see the numbers. Yeah, and the, the valves and build it on more solid. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, that's what you want. Now, if, if that if that is not, very precarious, you want like a yeah, regular brick the, there. Right here, right here. You should put a, a full brick. Right. A, full, a broken brick. Here, lay, like it, this. lay it the other way. Like lay it on its flat side so it's steady. There you go. So if he thinks there's too much going in, we can fill the sides.
No, I think you. I think your head. I hit. think you might have so hit what? these sharp things. Yeah, no, I think yeah. you hit. You know this. how many squares I have on my head? Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. So now so, this is closed. This oh, is closed. Fine. Open that. Okay. So now we're gonna do this. <laughs> this isn't gonna work because I can't. Right, wait, 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 wait. One at a time. Yeah. I'm, I'm this goes I'm first. Closing down. Yeah. Right well, don't you want to turn it? Yeah. I want to turn the other way. You want to let the gas flow. You see the same brick. Okay, let's go see who's that other thing. Oh, I see. Well, it might be. Okay. Yeah, well, the horse here for the end. Okay, okay. And I, uh, my burner has a pilot. So I can shut down the main burner, the pilot's still feeding. I can keep it at a thousand, and we can keep pulling the horse hair. Oh. Okay, did you get this lid? This lid? No, it's not working. Okay, so did you shut this? You gotta shut this. We don't want any gas in this line. It's not gas. We don't want any gas here. And then we want to increase this to open up anything that's in the line. And open this. Going down opens that up or going up opens it up? No, this one. Doesn't bringing he said it up it's not open it? Working. I think right. this regulator's broken. Yeah, okay. Oh. It's not allowing, it's not. You know, okay. So so this, anything that's straight is when it's coming through, when it's on the <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I mean this one. <laughs> well, I thought bringing this up would open it up. No. So people don't trip try to walk up from the Okay. That's well, not, thought, that's a valve. It's not, it's not a connection. The connection right. is reversed. Uh, right, okay. How do you do yours? Clear. Tell me what you're doing. Yeah. So I can, yeah. Why don't I, why do you want, no, I, I don't want to burn it. the ground. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. 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 So how, so how are things going now? Everything's firing fine now. We're, we're at 1100 degrees. So that means, means what? That means it's climbing in temperature, it's burning efficiently, we got enough gas and air. And how long will it take for it for to be to start? Well this I'm not familiar with this setup. So it, on my guess it should it should rise. Yeah, it's twelve thirty. Okay, so what do you have for your combustible? Okay, I brought some stuff for you. I have shredded newspaper. You have that? I have a lot of that. Okay, I also have some shredded newspaper mixed with pine shavings. Okay, if anybody wants that. I'm all set up. And I also have some hay. Okay. Oh, hay's good. Okay, so okay, so I'm gonna yeah. leave this with you guys. Okay. I What's that in here? What it's I so usually do is we have a three-person process. One no, person, one person throws on more shit, the other person. Throws okay. And what are you gonna use for your? Um, uh, okay. You need a container of water. My guess is you're gonna put lids on everything, right? Yeah, we're gonna put lids okay, on. Okay. So that. you need a gasket. So, so you got to get a full sheet of wet newspaper, get a bucket of water. Yeah. Is that what you do? You mean for, re for raising the reduction? No, the no, to close it so you have less smoke. Oh. I think what works better is just these towels. We'll soak the towels. Huh? Soak my towel. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't know you had towels. Oh, I never, I never know. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know we had towels here. That's why I said. Okay, so what are we doing? What are we using? Are oh, you gonna put the towel over this or something? Yeah, you want to you know reduce it. You want to reduce the amount of smoke. Okay, but I thought you want a lot of smoke. The only place you need combustion is in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Coming don't need. Out. Okay. People think that you need these big fires and big smoke. You yes. don't need right. that. Once, right. once the piece ignites in there and you seal it, you're good. Right. Now your next function is to oh, put, it, put it over smoke the top. down yes, so you don't have the fire company. Right. <laughs> so what I do is I when I do lids, which I don't do lids. Oh, no? As you saw, saw in my picture, I have a yep. pit. I have a pit. With, um, and you just walk into it and put the pot in? No, I, I take a picture of what's in the kiln. We make a bucket for each of the pieces. We set up the pit for each of the pieces that we know we're firing. We put a chip underneath so it's level. We put the material around it. We put the material in the bucket. We pull, we cover, we seal. We pull, we cover, we seal. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I think you said you don't do covers. Yeah, but we, we turn the containers upside down. Oh, we don't put 
What a song. great idea! I love that. Well, you can't do what you, you have, like a dirt pit. Yeah, a dirt or gravel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh you that's a, great. The pot, the oh, I see, is the cover. Yeah, Are I you in the cover? Oh, well, next time I, I post it, you guys can come. I just started doing pottery. I only gave you one more. Okay, what happened to the we'll town I put here? Yeah, well, it probably won't right be. There, so okay, so, so we're it's already at. Well, it doesn't have to be right there. Right? We're at 1200. Somebody going to put it on top. We're doing well, right? And what's your name? My name is Lucille Scary. Okay, and you do this regularly? You do this? Yes, this is what I do at home. You do, wait, wait, I do it totally different because I have a permanent setup. What do you do? You're a potter? You're a potter. I'm a potter. Yeah. And how long have you been doing this? 35 years. Wow. And uh, so... I taught in a public school for 35 years. Okay. I've done this in the school parking lot with my students. Okay. I, I, I go I do school visitations now that I'm retired. Um, I just did a big firing at uh, Mountain Lakes so High School here. in May. I had oh, okay. six kids. So, uh, okay. yeah. So I know a little bit about what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So everything is set up. Everything here is temporary, but it should work. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have any problems now. I just don't think that whole regular. I mean, that that unit right there cost me in Jersey when I buy a whole new regulator is $104. But, um,. It's, it's a very expensive unit, but it's a very necessary unit because you want to control the pressure. Okay. And some people don't use it, but I do. Right. Okay. Now this one's too close to this kiln. Yeah. It's too, you're going to be too close to the propane gas. tank. So I would say out here. Out there. Okay. Move that big can, please. Watch it, watch it, Keith. Watch it, put those in get corn on the... Lucille? Yes, dear. Um, she's going to turn off the camera. Am I getting it? Well, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. When we're ready to. Not there. We're just rehearsing. We're rehearsing. Okay, so now here's. How many times? Don't you want to take pictures? Yes, yes, I do. Yeah, I got to have. Oh, I could. Yeah, you can take a picture. I have time. Yeah, no, I have time. I don't know if I want to. Here, those are mine. Those are those are fireplace. These? Yeah. Those are fireplace. Those are not fireplace. Those are. This will work? It'll work. It's a metal and it may get hot. Take mine out of the bucket over there. Alright. So... Phil, you want me to And I have, I have... I have... Be careful what? when you pick you things up because okay. you have the little... I would love you to do that. Thank you. Okay. Can you take... I did. Oh, okay. I, I took a couple. My son is on vacation. You can so choose. You gonna, you're going to be home? No, I have to take care of Phil can too. So I'm okay. just oh, she's just moving it over. You want to on the perimeter. You don't, don't want to have to cross over. Can you move over move this one? Yeah. Okay. Watch, watch. Oh, watch, watch. Oh, watch. Oh, oh, watch, oh, watch. Oh, oh, that's why I have to I'm not sure oh, if I do. I think I do. What's the matter? Whether it ended up. Hit this. That's why. Is that my track? What kind of thing? You want to put something else over there?
was that? 1700. Fahrenheit. <laughs> okay, we're moving now. We're good. Just to be. That, that would really burn your chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, a lot of other things too. <laughs> oh God. Can't mention on TV. That's right. So we've got flames coming out the top. Two containers. Oh, just sort of put over the when the top. Just so something I wanted okay. to know about before my ask. <laughs> no, 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 no. When this is off, there'll be nothing coming out except there you the. Go. the, the, the so you're a trooper, Phil. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's review one more time. Everybody, be quiet and just go over it together. We, one person turns off the gas. Who is that, that person? I'll do that. Okay. Lucia will turn off the gas. <laughs> Bill will then lift the lid. I will reach in and take out whichever pot I can reach easiest first. And you have to, whoever's it is, yeah. should say it's mine, mine and come over yeah. here. And I'll go to your can, okay? I'll put it in the can. You'll then throw whatever you want to burn on top of it, on top of it. Put a towel and a lid on top. Meanwhile, Wait, a lid first and then a towel, or a towel, towel, towel then yeah. a lid? Can I ask a lid, lid, lid and a towel first? You're going to be the devil's advocate. What are you going to do with the lid when you take it off? He's going to hold it. I'm, he's gonna, as soon as I pull out, he's going to put it back on. Yeah, but there's pieces in there, right? Right. I'm going to come back and he's going to do the same thing. Put it on top of that Okay, thing. I'm going to make a suggestion. Yeah, let's yeah. put the lid I on would top take, of that. I would those take those these out. pieces yeah. off, put them someplace safe. Yeah, I don't okay. know why those things are sitting there. I would put the lid on here. Yeah. Okay. How many people do we have pulling? Just you? Well, I'm first one anyway. Okay. My suggestion is this, and you don't have to take any of it, all of it, or none of it. My suggestion is this. Bill takes the lid, puts the lid here. The people that are going to pull are going to line up here. First person reaches in, gets rid of this stuff, puts it in. People deal with it. You get out of the way. Next person is behind it. Next, 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 next. All right. But because but we only have one set of long gloves. I got two I'm sets. I'm going to do all the pulling. We got two sets. Yeah, one person do the pulling. Okay. I got two sets. You can do the pulling then. No, no, I'll let you guys do your pulling. Yeah. You also need an apron, long gloves, respirator. He has another apron. Shouldn't we be getting more air in there? Keith, do you want to get a mask? Huh? Yes. When, um, what do you want to do? I'm looking at the, it's, it's doing a reduction. We don't need to do this now. We need uh -huh. to get more. Oh, it's getting oh. up there. So we're at 1,500. Yeah, but it's holding at 1,500. Oh, I know. Yeah, there's smoke coming out. Oh, yeah. Oh, that means we're getting a reduction. Get more gas. Hold up, hold up. Damper, right. There's orange flames coming out. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. smoking, too. Yeah. yeah. So let's, let's in, more air. Yeah, do the inventory. Still standing oh, when it happens. I put him over. <laughs> I put him over here. Someone have my turn. Stop. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You might want to have the river over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're talking about.
have the barrel here. Watch the wind's blowing your way. Are you wearing safety glasses? Are those safety glasses? No. Where are they? Just goggles? That's all I have. Just remember the barometer is about 50 degrees cooler than the inside of the kiln. Okay. And it doesn't reflect the temperature on the pieces. So it's just a guide. Definitely, the crackle glaze is melted. Is that empty? Oh. Huh? 
more tempting. Maybe they like each other. Rather than just put stuff in there. Okay, so you're gonna put pieces back in. I know. Don't don't we want to put some stuff in there so it's hotter than it looks like? No, it takes so long to do. That's that kill's already hot. Yeah. Yeah, you think we should just keep going with this? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Why would you see you in the Where are you gonna put that lid now? We got it going. Oh yeah, because you have a lot of time putting on that many. Well, we can take the ones from the hair. Can you set it down like that? there for like eight ten minutes yeah that's what i'm saying yeah. this one you're gonna pull like those open those under control oh, that one is a different story oh wow that's marvelous in here that thank is you. absolutely that's special that's Kill gods were in your favor yeah i know okay it's still nice and black okay guys yes it's still oh, actually it's smoking this one of course squirt it when oh, i oh, 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 spray it spray it oh my I didn't wave it when I took it out of the kiln. Oh. Uh -huh. I should have. That helps. But, uh, to cool it a little. Yeah, it helps to oh, increase crazy. the crackle. Yeah. Because I was in a hurry. Mm -hmm. um, so this is what the carbon does. It turns white clay black. Black, right. This was red iron oxide oh. that I brushed on and then scraped. I actually, I brushed the whole pot with red iron oxide. Uh -huh. And then while it was still green. I, I and then scraped it. So it was only 
A reduction of the smoke. It's basically the smoke getting into the car. Because there may be there, but look at the lid. Yeah, the shit of the metal. Yeah. What? What? And it fit. Of course it fit. I'm worried. Ain't no. Don't touch it. 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 Don't touch